ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਕੋਜ ਗੁਰਬਾਨੀਸ ਅਸ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਦੇ ਡੇ ਵੇ ਵੀ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਵਿਦ ਗੌਰੀ ਗੁਆਰੇਰੀ ਮਹਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਇਜ਼ ਜਿਸ ਮਨ ਵਸੈ ਤਰੇ ਜਨ ਸੋਏ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਕਰਮ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹੋਏ ਦੁਖ ਰੋਗ ਕਛ ਪਾਉਨਾ ਵਿਆਪੈ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਨਾਮ ਹਿਰਦੇ ਹਰ ਜਾਪੈ ਪਾਰ ਬ੍ਰਹਮ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਧਿਆਈ ਹੈ ਗੁਰ ਪੂਰੇ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਮਤ ਪਾਈ ਹੈ ਰਹਾਉ ਕਰਨ ਕਰਾਵਣ ਹਾਰ ਦਿਆਲ ਜੀ ਜੰਤ ਸਗਲੇ ਪ੍ਰਤਪਾਲ ਅਗਮ ਅਗੋਚਰ ਸਦਾ ਬੇਅੰਤਾ ਸਿਮਰ ਮਨਾ ਪੂਰੇ ਗੁਰ ਮੰਤਾ ਜਾਕੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਸਰਬ ਨਿਧਾਨ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕੀ ਪੂਜਾ ਪਾਈਏ ਮਾਨ ਜਾਕੀ ਟਹਿਲ ਨ ਬਿਰਥੀ ਜਾਏ ਸਦਾ ਸਦਾ ਹਰ ਕੇ ਗੁਣ ਗਾਏ ਕਰ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਅੰਤਰ ਜਾਮੀ ਸੁਖ ਨਿਧਾਨ ਹਰ ਅਲਖ ਸੁਆਮੀ ਜੀ ਜੰਤ ਤੇਰਾ ਸਤੇਰੀ ਸਰਣਾਈ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਮ ਮਿਲੇ ਵਡਿਆਈ it's not surprising that gurbani in various ways in various contexts continues to prod the mind to cultivate self knowledge and this passage is no exception it begins by saying jis man vase tare jan soe ja ke karm prapat hoye ਦੁਖ ਰੋਗ ਕਛ ਪਾਉਨਾ ਵਿਆਪੈ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਨਾਮ ਹਿਰਦੇ ਹਰ ਜਾਪੈ ਲਿਟਰਲੀ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਟਡ ਓਨਲੀ ਵੈਨ ਦਾ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਸ ਸੋ ਗ੍ਰੇਸਡ ਜਾਂ ਕਿ ਕਰਮ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹੋਏ ਹਾਊ ਇਜ਼ ਇਟ ਸੋ ਗ੍ਰੇਸਡ ਗ੍ਰੇਸਡ ਵਿਦ ਸੈਲਫ ਨੋਲੇਜ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਨਾਮ ਹਿਰਦੇ ਹਰ ਜਾਪੈ ਸੋ ਅ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਅਬਾਈਡਸ ਵਿਦ ਸੈਲਫ ਨੋਲੇਜ ਔਰ ਦਾ ਹਰ is graced so only when the mind is so graced with self knowledge that it comes to abide with the her self just man vase so only in such a condition that one can successfully navigate the ocean of existence tare jan soe tare to swim across we've seen that life or is often viewed as an ocean that it is our business to navigate across and if we are to navigate our way across we require self knowledge or else we will continue to fumble in such a state where the mind abides by the herself through self knowledge all sorrow and misery disappears dukh rog kach paona vyape fear existential fear disappears and in the rahau pankti the guru goes on to suggest to us how to get there and he says par brahm parameshwar tyaye so tyaye is the root here tyae means to think literally it means to think or to recall or to remember and in this rahau it means to think of par brahm parameshwar which is a reference to the transcendent creator the absolute so the question is how does one think about that which is not material how does one think about that which is not visible or accessible to the senses and the second part of the rahau tells us how the answer is gur pure te eh mat paiye gur pure has multiple connotations gur refers not only to a specific technique a method as in having the gur for something it also refers to spiritual knowledge it also refers to the enlightener pure perfect complete 
in other words never failing full proof gur pure te from such an enlightener or such an enlightener that possesses the full proof methodology eh mat paiye obtain this understanding gur pure te eh mat paiye then you will learn how to do tyavana otherwise you will not know how to do tyavana and it makes sense after all how can you bring to your mind the notion of something that we don't even have any idea about our minds are totally fixed with the senses we only see material things and objects how does the mind begin to cultivate a sense or knowledge of that which is par brahm which is beyond the senses which is transcendental and the guru says gur pure te eh mat paiye understand the technique understand the way to do it from the gur the gur will give you the good so to speak and in the second verse that line of thinking continues the guru instructs us he says my mind is addressing the mind remember or think about he is how to do it the benevolent doer the ultimate cause of everything so the guru is telling us what it is that we have to think about we have to think about that par par brahm parmeshwar who is karan karavan har dayal it is the doer it is the ultimate cause of everything and it is benevolent that is the par brahm that is the parmeshwar it is also ji jant sagale pratapal it sustains all creatures and it is agam agochar sada beanta who is infinite transcendent beyond the grasp of the senses so that is the par brahm parmeshwar tiyaye the guru elaborates this is what you have to bring into the mind and again he emphasizes simar mana pure gur manta again manta instruction of the perfect guru or the perfect instruction so the question that we raised in the rahau is answered here in verse 2 the technique or method gur of the perfect enlightener gur or satgur is the methodology to follow and so gurbani provides us with the data and the evidence of how to do that so having said bring to mind par brahm parmeshwar verse to expands the idea of the notion of par brahm parmeshwar and the emphasis on gurmant and here in verse 3 are elaborated the benefits जाकी सेवा सर्व निदान प्रभु की पूजा पाइए मान जाकी टहल बिरथी जाए न बिरथी जाए सदा सदा हर के गुण गाए सो द वी आर बीइंग इंस्ट्रक्टेड हियर बाय सर्विंग दैट वन जाकी सेवा द ट्रेजर सर्व निदान व्हाट इज दैट ट्रेजर इट इज द ट्रेजर ऑफ प्रब सेल्फ कॉन्शियसनेस प्रभु की पूजा पाइए मान so therefore par brahm parmeshwar agam agochar the transcendent is really speaking to a state of the mind a consciousness that is beyond the ego that is really what is being pointed at and now the guru is telling us where is our starting point what is the guru mantra where does it begin it says sada sada har ke gun gaiye that is the starting point through constant praise and glorification develop virtues and qualities in yourself 
सदा सदा हर के गुण गाए एंड सच एन एफर्ट विल नेवर बी वेस्टेड जहां की टहल ना बिरथा जाए सो दिस विल नेवर बी वेस्टेड सो नाउ हियर वी गेट एन इनसाइट इन टू द परफेक्ट टेक्निक और मेथड ऑफ द परफेक्ट गुर एंड लाइटना द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट इज सदा सदा हर के गुण गाए और singing to the qualities of the heart self now we have spoken about this what exactly does singing to the qualities really mean we have already implied in previous passages that singing has a broader connotation than merely the act of singing although it includes that as well kirtan bhajan that's the starting point with the tongue but in a broader context singing means that that singing with the tongue should eventually shape or reshape one's mind and therefore one's life in accordance with gurmat those are the virtues and qualities that gurmat lists that we must acquire through this process so this is a radical change in lifestyle tell that is being asked for and it begins with the tongue that is the starting point start reciting start reflecting start internalizing those qualities that is the beginning point and as you get on that process you will find that the process itself will continue to guide you that's the beauty that's the gur you don't need to look hither and thither just get on this process and the process will lead you on and in conclusion kari kripa prab antar jami sukh nidan har alak swami ji jant teri sharnai nanak naam mile vadiyai so nanak is asking for the gift of self knowledge vadiyai and he says all creatures seek your refuge ja ji jant teri sarnai so have mercy for you are the inner knower kar kripa prab antar jami you know the state of our mind we don't need to actually tell you you know that already so have mercy you are that unseen but treasured master so therefore what is being asked for is self knowledge which is a state of consciousness of the mind we have to break through the restricting and the constricting consciousness of the ego which cannot see beyond material entities on that note until the next time wahguru ji ka khalsa wahguru ji ki fateh